Hello and welcome, my name is Nick and in this video I'm going to show you how you can track time spent online and I'm going to give you one app which you can use both on the phone and on your laptop, desktop to track every website that you visit, every app that you're using and before diving into uh, presenting you the app I'm going to show you one quote by Benjamin Franklin which says what gets measured gets managed and the thing with time is that you don't get more of it, you can buy more of it so what you can do is to manage it better and to manage it, you just use some kind of technology that would help you with this. And the app that I'm going to show you is going to do exactly this for you. But before I'm going to show you the app, I'm going to give you a few more examples from people that I hear that don't manage their time better. Maybe this is you at the moment. And this is how you know that you need to track your time. If you don't have enough time, if you feel like nothing gets done, if you feel like you don't get time to do meaningful work or even simple things like you can exercise, you can call your mom, you don't have time for it, or you don't have time to install good habits, it's because you're not managing your time correctly. And I'm gonna show you one illustration which I created just a few minutes ago um, to show to you how I view the time daily as a pipe with water. And what these red lines are, these are destructions or time stealers. And if you wanna learn more about how these destructions affect you, you can watch one of my videos which I made like a few weeks ago about how to be more focused and productive. And in the beginning of the day, each of us has 16 day, 16 hours. And um, Elon Musk has 16 hours, uh, Bill Gates has 16 hours, you and I have 16 hours as well because on average we sleep eight hours. If you're sleeping less than that, then you have sleep that. If you're sleeping more, it's bad for your brain as well. So every distraction that you're getting an additional app, an additional notification, using too much of some particular website, too much YouTube, too much. So every of these lines um, would actually steal from your time. So you want to identify what they are by using these app, this app. And the thing with the built-in phone tracker, uh, which you probably have if you have a modern phone, uh, you can see how much time you spend on your apps by checking digital well-being or screen time on iOS. And um, if you're working online and you're spending more time on, on your computer and you want to have one dashboard where you can track every website that you visit if you are in, interested in increasing your productivity. And the free app is called Rescue Time. This is what I've been using for about one and a half years now. And you can use it on uh, Android and on iOS. And you're going to see in one dashboard, you can see daily, weekly reports, and you're going to get one email and one notification um, on your phone uh, per week so it doesn't distract you too much and you only need to set it up once and it does all the tracking for you, for you. and the best part is that it's free as I mentioned and I'm going to show you um, five more things that you can do to control screen time before I show you my actual stats like the website that I visit and how it looks for me at the moment and um, you can manage your notification on your phone or turn off the notifications that you don't need this way you're going to control how much time you're spending. The app would not try to get you to spend as much time as possible on it if you don't click on that notification and get into the app. And then you can uninstall some apps that are stealing your time and are not uh, helping you with productivity or with what you want to achieve. And then you can set timers. This is what I have done myself. You set timers for the five apps you use. You can check in your um, digital well-being. We're using this app. Um, rescue time to see where you're spending the most time on your phone and set timers. You can do this uh, on uh, both on iOS and Android and then you, I recommend that you do not use the phone in the morning and before sleeping and this is going to help you with controlling your screen time as well because this way you're not going to become addicted to checking your phone and your uh, laptop. And then you can watch my last video as I mentioned where I show you like more um, the neurobiological side of why it's important to just control your time and how you're spending um, your time in front of your computer and your phone to be more pro productive and focused. This is how the app looks like. Um, it's really simple. You could track your time and the best thing is that it tracks your phone and it tracks your desktop activity so you can have all your screen activity in one place. So if I go to reports here and I go to productivity this page would show up and it shows me my productivity pulse it's from like a hundred 63 is productive like 63 percent of my time and then you can check like by week so if I go here and by week let's see last week so I'm letting you in on some private stuff here 
So 72%, very productive, productive, neutral, and then very distracting. Let's see what is distracting here. Um, <laughs> YouTube, then Facebook, Facebook, Emojipedia. This is actually for work. I use emojis to attract people's attention. And then uh, Barnes & Noble, this is for ebooks. And then CN Travel, this is a cool website I check for travel news. And then photos and five minutes of Netflix. <laughs> this is amazing. Let me know your stats. Comment your stats below. How many minutes of Netflix did you get? All right. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I really recommend that you use this app. Um, this is some of my best recommendations. Uh, install this for Windows. I think you can install it on Mac as well. And it's gonna track basically everything you do. And then install it on the phone and it's gonna track every app. And you can check back like at the end of the week, you get a report, only one notification. So you can like, it's not gonna spam you with notifications. You get one and you get an overview, an idea of how productive you are and if you need to change something. Thank you for watching. If you got this far, then you definitely like this content. Now, before leaving, uh, if you like the content and you want to follow my videos, you can subscribe and turn on the notifications so you're getting notified when I release like good content like this one every other week. And uh, leave a like, leave a comment below how much yeah, of the Netflix time you're watching or if you're going to install the app. You can actually see the link, click on the link and that link is special because I'm going to know like if I'm going to get like a hundred or a few hundred views on this video then I'm gonna know how many people installed it. And uh, this way I'm gonna know if people who are watching my videos are action takers or not. And uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video next week.